Hello everybody and welcome back to another app review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Gboard. Now Gboard is Google's brand new keyboard application that lets you search right from within your keyboard. So when you first install the keyboard you'll have to hop right into settings here, go to general, keyboard, keyboards, add new keyboard, Gboard will be in there. Have to click add and then go in and allow full access. Now that just allows the keyboard to access all the information that you're typing which is pretty necessary for all third party keyboards on iOS. So if we jump right into the Google app itself, you can get to things like keyboard settings right here, where you can turn on glide typing, emoji suggestions, you can get the search settings here where you can turn on predictive search, contact search, and allow Google access to your location. So when Gboard actually becomes useful here is when you're in other applications. So as you can see, you can press and hold the globe and switch right to Gboard like this. So it looks pretty similar to the stock iOS keyboard, but it does have some modifications including swipe typing, where you can glide your finger across the keys to type particular words. You can also move your cursor around by sliding on the space bar here. So you can also get right into the emoji search down here by hitting the emoji button. You'll see a list just like your stock iOS keyboard, but you can also search for emojis right here and get to those just like that. Although there are some restrictions to what you can search for. You will also get your standard predictive search right up in here. So what really makes Gboard unique is the integrated Google search. So if you click right here on the G, you can get right to your search field here where you can type in all sorts of things like McDonald's or like Ride Along 2. Now if we get to Ride Along 2 here, you'll see you get cards for the movie itself, you'll get to the trailer, get the Google search results, you can also get to images right there, you can get to GIFs, very useful right there. You can also tap on it and it will copy information about the movie into the text field above, whether that's a text, note, Facebook post, you'll get all that. It'll also copy the particular image right there, where you can go right in and paste that into the text field above. So you can do this from all sorts of things like movies, restaurants, YouTube videos, GIFs, images. You can get right here, you can get information about people. Now if you click on a particular link, it will paste the link up above, or you can click on this button at the bottom here and it will open in Safari, and it'll take you right to whatever page it's referencing. So as you can see, it's also a great way to get to particular YouTube videos that you might be trying to tell your friends about. So you can get to that, and it will copy it right in there. You can also go right down here and play, and it will open right up in YouTube. So overall, that pretty much wraps it up. It's definitely my favorite third-party keyboard. I won't be using it full time since I do use the 3D touch trackpad quite a lot on the stock iOS keyboard and my accuracy seems to be quite a bit lower on third party keyboards for whatever reason. But it's definitely the first one I will be keeping installed in the background so I can quickly switch to it if I need to search for something, search for a GIF, anything like that. Definitely very useful, definitely give it four and a half stars out of five. A couple things I'd like to see improved like opening links into the YouTube app and the Google search app and the Google Maps app, obviously. But overall, there's not a whole lot to dislike about this. It works incredibly well. It's an amazing, amazing keyboard that you should certainly have in your phone. It has a lot of functionality. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I post new videos every single Sunday. I said GIF. It's a GIF. My voice keeps cracking.